call the unknown call for or by the year 15. Do you know Matthew Bonney? He puts together these really avant-garde films. Last uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I did my first two days of shooting because I'm, I'm, I'm in this new film they're putting out, you know? Oh. So I'm doing this big drum thing with the drums hanging on. It's weird stuff, man. <laughs> shooting in this barge right off the East River. It's deep, man. Wow. They based it the story of Norman Ma Mailer. So his son John Mailer was there. So he's Norman one and I'm Norman two. This is deep, man. <laughs> I never figured I would be in a situation like this. Huh. I said, this is deep. And I'm sitting there, man. I'm like, wow, man. How did I get into this? I said, this is the whole thing, man, of the artists coming together. Mm. So maybe that's the way we're going to go. We're going to, yeah. you know, it's the jazz and all this stuff. Huh? You know, it's, it's, it's not dead, man. It's just, it's just, just changing into to other forms now. Okay, so they have this scene where as... They have me crawling out of this cow, man. I couldn't imagine. They said, well, you've been coming out this cow. Like, you're coming out the wound of this cow. I said, well, I couldn't imagine that. When I got down there, they had this big, gigantic cow, man. And it wasn't a plastic cow. It was like a real cow that's been all kind of, I don't know if they had formaldehyde preservatives or what, man, but that was skin and flush. And they had to split with the insides, guts took on all out. I said, you want me to get in that thing? It was gooey and sweat. And to keep the funk down, they had to put ice in there. And I went in there first. I, told, I said, man, it's like I'm going in the freezer. So they wanted me to go inside. Of course, the other guy, the, uh, uh, Norman Mailer's son, he went inside. So my shot is coming out, not this reincarnation or birth or something. So they wanted me to extend my arm out to split and be hitting the skin like I'm drumming. You know what I mean? It's deep. I said, well, it makes sense, man, because it's a cowhide. You know, we play use cowhide. So uh, I said, it's crazy, but I'm going to do it, man. I said, this is a new adventure for me. So I'm coming out of this thing, man. Then I eventually come out, and I'm hitting on this cow, man. And then um, they said, uh, you could make some sounds, man. So I said, these sounds, man. I wasn't singing, I've come out of the cow, and it was so good. I feel the blues in me. <laughs> I came out there. <laughs> And I'm hitting on this cow, and they were loving it. Everybody said, yeah, those sounds, man. I said, man, I went real animal, man. I said, how could you come out of an animal and, like, I am the newborn calf or whatever the hell it is, making some sounds like I've come out the vocal shop in the conservatory. So I went animal. I just, I said, man, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I said, all I know, man, I come out that weird animal. I had to get out of there. First of all, crawling in there, I was all in a fetal position, man. They closed that thing down. I'm saying, I'm in there. What am I doing in this cow's body, man? <laughs> and then I finally got out, but it was, it was grooving, shaking these built cowbells, and I was grooving, man. And I, I even did a little bit. Listen, they had this gooey stuff, man, on the floor, man. It, like, it, was, it, was a, it was weird, man. I'm telling you, this is weird. And I found myself getting up, slipping, and they had it in this old barge. An old barge, man. And the East River sitting there, and the water, they had about water coming up this here on the barge. And, you know what I mean? And we was on this platform. I said, man, if I slip over here, I'm back in this water. Back was falling all in this water. So I'm trying to hold myself up. So Mintanaka came to my mind, man. Do you know Mintanaka, the Bhutto dancer? Mm -hmm. Well, Mintanaka, I played with him a lot. So when Mintanaka would come out to you like, so I felt like Minton knocking. I got to tell Minton knock. I said, Min, I felt you coming out this damn cow because Min always thought himself as like a fetus, a fetus, man, you know, like in this rebirth thing. So instead of slipping, I had to go like this here, move and come over, move like this here, man. They went wild, man, the moves, man. So it turned into something. Now, that's borrowing from all your resources that you have, man. <laughs> Thank you.